Good afternoon. Surgeries stopped at one of San Antonio's biggest hospitals. Brook Army Medical Center inside San Antonio Military Medical Center has canceled and postponed elective surgeries. Eyewitness News reporter James Keith is live outside SAMHSA with a reason. James. Well, this weekend, the San Antonio Express News reported there have been dozens of cases where dirty surgical tools have been found inside the hospital's operating rooms, resulting in the cancellation of elective surgeries. The hospital, though, isn't being so specific. In a statement, hospital leaders say there has been an increase in demand for surgeries at Bamsey. As a result, leaders are evaluating staffing, required equipment, space needs, and processes to meet the demand. Right now, elective surgeries have been canceled or postponed as well. The deputy commander for surgical services says, quote, we wanted to be proactive about ensuring we are 100% able to meet the additional requirements with the safety and high quality standards our patients expect and deserve. Hank Balch, president of the South Texas Association of Sterile Processing Services, says dirty surgical equipment is more common than you think. He says more complex, minimally invasive robotic instruments that are hard to clean are partially to blame. We're talking about very complex, high-tech instruments that have to be taken apart many times. So how can you make sure your doctor is using clean equipment? There is no place that you can go today to find out the safety of surgical instrumentation in that particular facility. Balch's group is pushing for state leaders to require certification for employees responsible for sanitizing surgical equipment. Nationwide, only four states currently do that. Now, BAMC officials really want to emphasize that this does not affect patients who have emergencies or urgent needs. Those procedures will still take place here. Now, if you are a patient and you had one of these elective surgeries affected by this, you're encouraged to contact your doctor. Reporting live outside of SAMC, James Keith, KENS 5 Eyewitness News.